Hi, I'm Matt, and today I'll be walking you through some of the techniques I've developed using the FlexPoint platform to create optimizations for my retail and production business. These are solutions that can save time, reduce errors, and increase profitability through the smart use of the FlexPoint tech. In this episode, we'll learn how you can use order routing logic to split orders, along with some advanced features to increase our order profitability. So let's get started. In my own retail operation, I offer products ranging from science exploration products like telescopes and kits for adults to STEM toys and other educational items for kids. I merchandise these items and they're available across various web stores and I work with a variety of suppliers to source my goods. Some of them drop ship the products, others print them on demand, and I have my own warehouse for certain high velocity sellers. First, I'd like to share with you how I've set up auto routing features to split my orders to go to the most profitable supplier. Okay, let's start by looking at my supplier list. You can see I have a dropship partner, my own warehouse, and a print-on-demand supplier. FlexPoint lets me organize them by source type and vendor names, which keeps everything neat. I sell these products on my Genius Gear site, which is built on big commerce. Customers shop without concern where the products are being supplied. FlexPoint handles all of that behind the scenes. Uh, so I easily connected my Genius Gear web store to FlexPoint. I set up connections to manage products and synchronize data. On my channel listings page, I can see all the products that are available on my store here. Some items come from each of my three suppliers. FlexPoint's routing settings allow me to auto split orders. Most orders are handled automatically, but if there is an issue, I have it set to hold orders and send me an email. I want to confirm that my suppliers are enabled for routing, and now FlexPoint will route orders automatically. Here's a quick tip. Go to your sales channel settings and confirm that auto generate on order import is turned on in the sales channel area. If we go back to my Genius Gear store, we can take a look at a recent order. In FlexPoint, we can see that it's auto routed and split telescopes to dropship, stem toys to my warehouse, and apparel goes to my on-demand supplier. It's seamless, efficient, and smart. Now let's optimize orders for a bestseller. The Alpen Wings 8x26 binoculars. I dropship them at $53, but I can also batch order them to my warehouse at $35. So let's do that and set up FlexPoint to maximize our margins. Here's the binoculars in my source inventory view of FlexPoint. Both sources showing up. On the products page, I can add an inventory link. I find and add the SKU from my warehouse to the product view, and now I can see the availability of both locations. I want to prioritize my warehouse inventory for all new orders since it's a higher margin. Unless I'm out of stock, then I'd fulfill the item from the dropship warehouse supplier. If an order already contains an item from the dropshipper, that's not stocked in my warehouse, I'll have the dropship supply both items to minimize shipping cost and packaging. In FlexPoint's routing settings, I can set my priorities and the order of my preferred sources. FlexPoint now automatically prioritizes my warehouse. Now let's optimize things a bit further. These routing rules make sense for most of my warehouse items, but I ran the numbers and my binoculars, um, the margin from my warehouse is much better than I always wanna prioritize my warehouse, even if it means multiple boxes. FlexPoint is able to handle this task. First, I create a new routing group here. With this group, I always will prioritize my warehouse over the drop shipper for the binoculars, regardless of the number of boxes. My warehouse comes in first. To apply this to only orders with the binoculars, I set a specific rule in the routing summary page. If an order contains these binoculars, FlexPoint sends it to the binoculars routing group. I will then use those specific rules I created. Now orders are handled precisely as I want. Let's get down to the numbers, starting with our binoculars. By utilizing the warehouse, we've more than doubled our profit, a 103% increase, or $18.50 more per sale. Now, our Gildan t-shirt. Switching to the warehouse and letting FlexPoint split the shipment means $4.25 more profit per item, an 81% increase. And here's another example of items that only the dropshipper can supply. Here's where it gets interesting. Look at these real-life orders. 
With our original strategy, we made about $1,000 in profit. With FlexPoint Auto Routing, by auto choosing the warehouse when it is more profitable, unless we're out of stock, we can boost the profit to $1,363. That's a $345 increase or 34% more. Now here's the icing on the cake. Sometimes it's cheaper to ship everything from one box. So the drop shipper may supply items that are also in the warehouse if the order contains any other dropship items. Our advanced rules cover this scenario to optimize routing, and that gains us an extra $30 in profit for the day. That's an increase of over $376 for half a day. Multiply that over a month or a year, and we're talking about over $22,000 monthly profit or $270,000 per year. All of that made possible by the strategic decisions in FlexPoint.